If you would like to promote your business, brand, or your next project, please hit us up for rates at actingupmedia at iCloud.com. If you want to enhance your website and social media, media. Jared Dalton Agency is here for you. And if you need us to create posts, graphics, graphics, captions, captions, we'll do high quality work for you. So check out social, social media, media, for my business, for my business, social media, media, for my business, for my business, social, social media, media, for my business, for my business, social. She walk straight through the door and take her pants off. Before she hit the bed, got her shirt off. She hollering that she need me and it ain't about to breathe. What up? What's going on? It's your boy Boogie Dollars and you tuned in to another episode of The Session. And my guest today, fresh off tour, Crisis the Rhyme Done. What's going on, man? Appreciate you coming through, man. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. You know, we got some dope videos, man. We're going to get with Crisis. He's still on tour, man. We're going to find out more about that, about the music he's dropping. All that, man. Stay tuned. It's the session. Dope music, acting up media. Rhyme dying in the house, man. Whew. Shit, I'm tired. I stink. You asked me to stand like I ain't stand like I stay like every day this week. See what this chick talking about. Better be some extra on here, too. What up, fool? Yes, sir. Damn, cool. Hi, daddy. Money on my mind, that's a go. That's a go. You want to waste my time, that's a no. That's a no. Fuck your ex, nigga, she a hoe. That's a hoe. I'm looking for the real ones, where they go? Where they go? Go, go, go. Where they go? Go, go, go. Where they go? Go. I'm looking for the real ones, where they go? Money on my line, that's a go. That's a go. I like to pile it up and watch it grow. Watch it grow. You're looking at my cup, that's a foe. That's a foe. Now I'm lying, that's a deuce, I'm moving slow. I'm moving slow. She put it on me, backed it up, I said fuck. I said fuck. I thought we fuck, she asked for money, I said help. I said help. I got the dressing room cluttered, that's a throw. That's a throw. Police asked me for a statement, I said no. Fuck no. Money on my mind, that's a go. That's a go. You wanna waste my time, that's a no. That's a no. Fuck your ex, nigga, she a hoe. That's a hoe. I'm looking for the real ones, where they go? Where they go? Go, 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 go. Where they go? Go, 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 go. Where they go? Go, 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 go. Where they go? Go, I'm looking for the real ones, where they go? Nice on the beat, Nikes on my feet, money on repeat, Virgo I don't sleep, your girlfriend is a freak, she pulled it out like teeth, then rolled it in release, drove home in disbelief, put some flour in a leaf, took a shower, hit the streets, made a left right by East, got damn no police. Excuse me sir, you were going pretty fast, hey, sitting right here and the clock you with my day, hey, let me see your license and your latest registration. I played it off cool, gave it with no hesitation, the last thing I need is a police altercation, cause if he kill me, all he get is a vacation. I kept the combo brief, he walked back to his cheap. I swear it felt like a week, but it was only three minutes He came back and said peace, I think the men relieved It slid off like high grease, put fire to the trees Now I'm high as with Khalif, still alert, bitch be beep God bless me like I sneeze, I'm still careful where I eat I be careful how I speak, you a jerk, you a creep You a rat, you like G, you get whack for the free Money on my mind, money on my mind Money on my mind, call it up, call it up Money on my mind, money on my mind Money on my mind, call it up, call it up She put it on me, back it up, I said fuck this She put it on me, back it up, back it up, back it up She put it on me, back it up, I said fuck Back, back it up, I said fuck Back, back it up, I said fuck Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Reporting live from the north side. I done seen the best out of Rest of them testify. Old people terrified. Young niggas terrorized. Modern day genocide. Half of it televised. Money got us hypnotized. Plan get you mortified. The dead get immortalized. Shooters get glorified. I just bought a five stick. Didn't have to go to best spot. Bullets get the uh, cutting slices through your chest pot. Oh my.
Searching for a place to find your everyday needs? Look no further. Dollar City, where you'll get what you've come for and more. You wanna grab a snack? Along with a few necessities, come see us. We also carry personal care and small grocery items. Your favorite beverages too. Awesome, you never know what else you might find. And if you see it first, you better get it while it's hot. Dollar City. Your dollar goes a long way in this city. Located at 833 Hamilton Crossing and 845 Riley Parkway. Damn nigga used to be my brother used to be All right, we back it's the session. Back with Crisis the Rhyme Don. Yes, sir. So man, when y'all get started for you, bro? Uh, when you realize this was, you know, could be something. And I realized it can be something. Early, and I was like in the army and shit. <laughs> so when I was doing that, it was like, yeah, it still could be something. You know what I'm saying? So I had to end up going solo. You know what I'm saying? I was with my, uh, I started with Overdose Click, ODC. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my nigga. Shout out Greenway. With him. And, uh, you know, he had went to jail and shit, and then shit just kind of. I need to be, man. Everybody don't want to do the same work, or niggas don't want to, you know, they don't got the same drive, and you really can't get mad about it, because, you know, it's always how it's going to be in a group, in the right. democracy. Right. <laughs> so, you know, I just end up just kind of breaking away from it, because this is some shit I really wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I ain't want to, you know, once, once that shit happened with him, it made me learn the business side of the industry, you know what I'm saying? So I had to, I started reading books, and just calling folks, talking to people about all kind of shit, man, and shit, I was like, shit, who gonna tell me I can't do this by myself? Who right. gonna tell me I can't be an independent, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Hell uh, yeah, man. Uh, something I didn't know until I started, you know, digging a little bit, that you were uh, unsigned hype in the source back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't, I don't know too many people that can say that. I don't, personally, anyway. I mean, you know. It, Especially not from Nashville, anyway. Yeah, it was, man, it was a big deal, man, when that motherfucker, when that motherfucker hit. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't tell nobody. We were just, you know what I'm saying? We were just moving and grooving. Right. So, when that motherfucker came out and motherfucker saw it in the then it was like, yeah, that, this just started going around. Everybody was thinking the sauce. Yeah. Which, and, uh, you know, back then... You know, that was that was right about the time before they started just actually fading all the way kinda out right. of the way. But back then that was a time when the nigga got an unsigned hype, nigga. He was about to blow. Either that or they like, that nigga that can wrap his ass right. up. Right. So, you know, being that, that's like, all right, man. You know what I'm saying? So and you know, now that I can look back on it, I ain't capitalized on it like I should have. You know what I'm saying? Not really just knowing the ins and outs of the business. It's like you know enough not to get fucked over, but a nigga didn't know. Right. I didn't like I didn't know that even though you run a, a business, you still running I mean a record company, you still got day to day operation. I, you know, I'm young doing right. all this shit, so I ain't really just not, you know, not knowing all that. And you know, it's all about the people you put around you too, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we knew what we knew, and we got them and went, you know, went in the direction we thought was best. And shit was different back then, so yep. you really had to get out there, grind it out. I love that part of it, though, man. You know, I was a junior salesman, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if anybody know what them is, you know, you get out there with them little candies, nigga. You get out there mm. and get them little five dollar boxes off. So, right. You know, <laughs> and but then just you know, I like that shit. Just getting out here. Shaking people's hands, you know what I'm saying? Because most motherfuckers, if they can see your face and you out here and you really grinding your shit, man, they'll, they'll fuck with it most of the time. For, right. the, for the most part, then if you good really too. bumping, yeah. then that's what's going to make it even better. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, 
I really, I never was scared to get out here and put two feet to the ground, nigga post up at the gas station, right. go to another city, do all that shit, man. I go places just to find out what's down there. Right. What uh, what issue was it? You remember it, who was on the call? Jada Kiss. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> right. I think it was like 2006. I know Jada Kiss was on the front. Wale was on, on the same one that I was on there. Okay. It was me, Wale. There was like two other cats, man. I can't remember their name. But I, I, I damn sure remember Wale, goddamn. Yeah, yeah, that's what's <laughs> up, man. So, yeah. That's what's up, man. Because, you know, I, like I said, I don't, I don't know too many people that got in other than like an yeah. ad or something. See, like and, then my, and, then, and then when, when my brother sent the shit, you know what I'm saying, he just like, hey, man, I'm going I'm to send it to him. And that's what's up, man. And I say probably about two wait, about two three weeks later, if that, nigga, they call the nigga on the phone. We chopped it up a little bit and shit. The rest was it. It was in the book. It was like, man. I was thinking about this shit earlier. Like, it ain't no magazines like that. No, you don't check the magazines like that. No, everything online. Yeah, trying now. to do everything online, but I still tell people, man. You know, a motherfucker rather see themselves on page twenty five than have to hit the link and. Go through, 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 through what's the name? I mean, convenience, I guess, but it ain't yeah. nothing like it's like, nigga. I mean, people, then there's more people that actually rather sit and hold a book and read it or a magazine and read it than have to scroll through their phone. For the most part, people on their phones all day. So when you get that little break to read a magazine or read a book, some people really just rather have a book in their hand. I know I do it. Right. Let's talk about, uh, Shirt off. Yeah, it's my shit. Featuring cook up boss. Yeah, man. I love that shit. And how that how that motherfucker doing out on the road for you, man? I mean on the road, man, they 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 loving it, man. You know, I ain't got my shirt off body back yet though, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, they fuck with it tough, man, and I I'm just appreciating the love, you know what I'm saying? It's kinda of like it was a record I had put out, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just Still trying to figure out how they doing shit new, how the new shit going, and it's like, nah, man, you just gotta get out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I seen, I said, cause they'll say the same thing. You gotta move around, man. Fuck. You gotta move around. It's just a whole, like, the best thing about the industry, bro, Nashville ain't the only city in it, man. Word. And niggas, you can't be scared to go out here and go, man. Like, Word. I do shirt off, nigga. Either they gonna be like boo, or they gonna be like yeah. And lucky they gave me the G's that little. <laughs> right, all right. So that's always you know, a good feeling, especially when you go somewhere. You yeah, know, okay. they ain't know nothing about a nigga. But it's, shit, it's like when you, you know, you play ball. Like nigga, I'm gonna go over here in this neighborhood and hoop, see yeah, hoop, and see what's see up. Yeah, you either gonna be trash, they gonna be like dude right there, nice. Right. Hell yeah, that's what's up, man. Uh, what made you want to get out and go on tour, man? Man, honestly, man, just to get the get the fuck away from town, man. It's like everybody, they perform in all the same spots. You know, I ain't knocking nobody for it. But at some point, man, you got to get the fuck out of town. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that, that be the thing that a lot of cats really don't do. Change the scenery always do. And the ones that do move around, that's when you start seeing all the different situations people coming up in, you know what I'm saying? Dude's got signs, he moved around, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what's his name, Chill? Mm-hmm. He got signs, he moved around. Africano the Plug, they moving around, getting the fuck out of town, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I ain't really expecting to get signed up, but if it happened, it happened. It'd be, it'd right. be a blessing. Right. I'm cool with being independent and let that shit crank up more, you know what right. I'm saying? Cause then that's more money for me. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, I got to do more work. I got to put more money into it. But shit, at the end of the day, the profit bigger for me. The boss of it. You know what I'm you saying? Move, you move how you want to move. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? As long as somebody putting the money in, I'm just a supervisor. You know what, <laughs> right. what I'm saying? So, I put, right my own, I put my own bread in. Can't nobody tell me what I can and can't do. That's grown man hustle, right? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All day. Hell yeah, man. That's what's up, man. I ain't shit. Now, that's my shit, too. But that got a nigga in some shit. I done heard a lot of niggas say, hey, man, you done got me in trouble. 
because I, I was listening to your song with my girl, nigga, and that shit brought us motion. I'm like, I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that. But, you know, everybody, got I done got the side eye. Yeah, house. I done got the, yeah, somebody done got fired on. I done got the side eye several times. Like, what the fuck you trying to say? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but that was, that, yeah, man, that, that, I think that's a pretty dope record, man, that, you know, you got to be a, you got to be solid and comfortable with yourself to be like, nigga, I ain't shit. Right. You know what I'm saying? And it ain't just... Self-reflection. Yeah, man. You know, I had to be real about myself just writing the motherfucker. So mm-hmm. I just kind of, just different situations over the years with just different women. And I just kind of put it all into one. And it's kind of like, yeah, nigga, I, I was on some bullshit. Mm-hmm. So let me go on and say it. You know, sometimes... Some some of the, some of my exes would listen to it and be like, "That's the perfect song for you." <laughs> <laughs> like, bitch, you just mad because it was your ass. Uh, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But for real, spill man, that's 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 mainly why I did it. Man. I just had to be honest with myself. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you know, if you want to deal with that, if you can deal with that. Shit, let me let me be honest with you. Shit. How's how's it doing on the road? Hey, hey. They, I, I know when I was in Missouri, I seen somebody say, I, I, I couldn't tell what she was saying, but she was pointing at this nigga like, you hear what he's saying? Like, motherfuckers? Like, she was telling, it looked like she was saying, motherfucker, this song about you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but I've been getting, like I said, I've been getting love on the road, man, for just them, the I ain't shitting shirt off, them, the, them two records I got the most love from. What's up? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, what, what you what you got next, man? What, what's on the horizon? Well, right now, man, like I said, I'm, I'm on tour right now with the. Uh, I got a couple cats. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I got promoter friends all over the country. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm up on the Money Talks tour. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Highway down the Spring Road trip. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I got a. Uh, I'm working on the album, man. Emancipation of Donnie, man. It might be the last one. It might. Not. You know what I'm saying? It might just. All in how it go, man. Just trying to have some fun, get some money, and just network, man. If I can, cause my ultimate goal is to be able to pull some some other people through, right. some other artists through, and let them do their one two thing and right. still experience hitting the road. You know what I'm saying? Placing on the track, boy. I came up from nothing, started at the bottom, I was struggling, got up off my ass and started hustling, always told my mama I'd be something, look at how I came up from nothing, started at the bottom, I was struggling, got up off my ass and started hustling, always told my mama I'd be something, look at how I came up I was born not to make it, but I did Praise God. Put it all on the line for my kids that, that. Before I die, I hope I make my family proud Dollars. Started at the bottom, but look at me now Manifesting thoughts into reality No quitting till I win is my mentality that, that. Gotta go and get it, kids gotta eat Men gotta do men things for men's salary Taking chances, dodging penitentiary Judge might try to hit me with a century I'm praying, but they praying on my downfall But fuck them niggas, I just wanna ball, bitch Cause I came up from nothing Started at the bottom, I was struggling Got up off my ass and started hustling Always told my mama I'd be something Look at how I came up from nothing Started at the bottom, I was struggling Got up off my ass and started hustling Always told my mama I'd be something Look at how I came up You know what's happening, nigga You hear the pain of my boys saying with they capping, nigga I ain't have a choice in these streets, I was savage, nigga. Savage, nigga. Yeah, and nah, I didn't want that cabbage, nigga. Cabbage, nigga. You hear? Me? You hear? No me? days off, I took it literally. Yeah, and then my haters started mimicking me. Hey, hey. Started out with.
with nothing, now I'm having plenty G. Right. Tell them come and shop with me, it's 24 or 23, yeah, Woo. yeah. I'm a cool individual, cool. smooth criminal. You're looking for me, well, here I go. Strapped up like a G.I. Joe or Army Time. I be everywhere the money at, ain't hard I came back from nothing. Started at the bottom, I was struggling. Got up off my ass and started hustling. Always told my mama I be something. Look at how I came up from nothing. Started at the bottom, I was struggling. Session with the rhyme, Don. Yes, sir. Donnie. Yeah. Uh, so, what cities you got left on the tour, man? Yeah, there's about 20 of them left, man. And, you know what I'm saying? I, I ain't gonna run through all 20 of them, but basically, it's Midwest, West Coast. You know what I'm saying? Like, Atlanta, Kansas, Liberty, Missouri, Tulsa, Oklahoma, Arlington, Texas. You got spots in going to Houston, Texas, too. New Mexico, Utah, Arizona. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Oregon got spots in Oregon. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Washington, Idaho, Iowa. Damn. Like nigga, this is like one of them kind of one of them kind of tools. So you know, just being out there, man, it's gonna be something just a whole different experience. Yeah, yeah. A lot of motherfuckers driving. But you, know, <laughs> but you know, I'm all the way with that, man. Man. That's what's up. You don't see a lot of the uh, country too. Man. I ain't, I ain't yeah, man. It's, it's flew over them parts, yeah. but I ain't a lot of them flat them some, but especially in the Midwest, there's a lot of flat land out there, so it's like. Go see them city near you, you know, man. You know what I'm saying? Money talks to a highway down at Spring Road trip. You know what I'm saying? You can follow me on at Ramdon365 on IG on Twitter. You can go to rhymedon365.com. I got my own website, man. You know what I'm saying? You can check out all the tour dates. You know what I'm saying? Get some merch. Check out music. All that. You know what I'm saying? So subscribe to my newsletter. You know what I'm saying? Catch me on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Christ the Ramdon. T H A. Not T H E. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm just out here moving and grooving, man. Getting back into the back into it, man. It's kind of. It's been a minute, but shit, I'm loving it right now. I'm having fun. I'm back having fun. At first, that's you know, you lose that fun and that passion for it, man. That shit don't be the same. You know what I'm saying? It's all business. That shit got a headache for me. A lot of shit just wasn't adding up, breaking right. sense. You know, and then people you got around you as well. You know, so. Shit. I'm just back having fun, man. Doing what Donnie do. That's what's up, man. Did you uh catch the Oscars? Yeah, I saw that <laughs> shit, man. That shit was crazy. I mean, I get what you know. I get why Will did what he did, but then also too, I see you know why Chris Rock didn't go on and handle one. Because if you actually pay attention to it, he was gonna give him one when he called himself like. See, I don't see. Only thing I thought he was gonna do afterwards. Say something else. He's like, I could have. Like, nah, he just but, caught himself, man. If you actually watch the video, he caught himself. I can see why some people say he looked fake. And I can see why people saying slap. He didn't come in like he was like hot. Like, yeah, he gave him the weakest he slap. Was, he was like, though. Yeah, that was uh, the weakest slap.
slap, nigga. That's what I'm saying. It was a movie slap. a movie slap. So, you, bro. you know what I'm saying. But I don't know, man. Like, that that couldn't have been me to the point where I could have had that much restraint that Chris Rock had right no. then. I could have. I could have done that, but it's immediately when no. somebody said, cut the commercial, hey, man, go get Will. Man, bro. <laughs> oh, I'm going to come out there and go get Will my goddamn See, self. See, it, it looked like he thought he, he thought he was going to play around with him or something, yeah, joke just, with him. But you got to think of the think of the look that it would have had had that nigga fought back and fired on him. I mean, it would have looked even it worse. It would have been a fucked up look. You got to think you about this, bro. Most people didn't even know the, the Grammys screen. was on that night you know. until that shit happened. Right. You feel me? <laughs> I didn't even know they was on until somebody said, damn, Will Smith smacked uh, smack Chris Rock at the Grammys. Oh, yeah, I mean, we, at the Oscars. I was like, did nobody didn't know the Oscars was on TV? Yeah, we was at a, uh, we was at a watch party, me and my wife. And uh, watching it live, it it cut, the, the sound cut, and you didn't know what happened. Yeah, they said something about they they did like a delay or something. Yeah, on it, they Will killed Smith it. Smith was going off. And then you heard, it came back to him yelling. You could hear him yelling. It's like, okay. It was a G.I. James. You know? yeah. And then it's like, I don't know, man. Me I personally. Mean, he was laughing at first, he and was. then he saw she was rolling her eyes. Man, I said, I don't look get she gave that nigga off camera. Or oh, something happened off camera that, hey, she wasn't, she wasn't funny, she wasn't laughing. He went from a laugh to slapping motherfucker. That shit was crazy. It was crazy, it was kind of stupid. His ego, but I, bro, his it. ego to me, to me. It looked, seemed like his ego fucked up ever since the uh, uh, August I've seen I mean, yeah, nigga. You got this nigga, you got them, you got one or two songs, nigga. I'm Will Smith. I'm the biggest actor in the world, nigga. This nigga with one or two songs, I'm fuck my bitch. In the house! <laughs> But you don't know how that already went down, though. I mean, I've I, I heard that, you know, he knew about it on some, and then I do get it. It's like, I think so. I think it just got out. I just think a nigga like that with that kind of money. I think the business just got out. Yeah, I think a nigga like yeah, that with that kind of money, man. He ain't going to not know that his gal ain't coming out. When you watch the new thing, man, he act like he had to put some time out. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Yeah, you know, I got an opinion, but yeah, there's some shit just though, you know, some business you just keep to your motherfucking self, man. Exactly. Wouldn't nobody know that if y'all wouldn't say nothing. Yeah. You going to a phone? That's the. That's the thing. Keep it in house. Yeah, man. All, <laughs> your marriage, your business, keep that shit All in the house, man. Yeah. If it ain't nobody business, then they don't need no other body. You know what I'm saying? But I, I just, I don't, I don't think I would have went that far. Because even if I was Will and she was pissed when they said cut, I would went straight back out and go holler at Chris. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. Then we already had this discussion, but we already, you know what I'm saying? They might have passed beef or something. You know I don't mean? know. Don't nobody really know. Right. You know what I'm saying? Them two niggas, they know for sure. Chris know what the fuck was going on. I thought Chris was just doing what the Yeah, he, he was. You know what I'm saying? He's doing what comedians do and keeping the theme of the show. He gave her a movie reference. She, she said she got out of peace or something. But at the same, come on, man. You ain't you not it bad. It was a bad not joke. Excuse. Bad timing. <laughs> The joke wasn't really just funny, but exactly. the timing of it was, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, had that nigga not got up there, they probably wouldn't even remember what the joke was. Exactly. They probably wouldn't even remember what he said. But the joke, Will should have sat there and be like, we can take a joke. I, I took a whole that. full embarrassment. At least he didn't say nothing about no entanglement. He could have murdered him. He could have killed him with all that. I would have came back with all that after the slap. <laughs> after the slap, I would have unleashed it all on the mic. I don't know, man. I mean, I think he did what he was supposed to do, man. Like, His ticket sales were up $300. So. That nigga just kind of like, you know what? 
know if I hit this nigga back, that shit gonna be the worst. He might lose the world. Yeah. He can't host the Oscars no more. Yeah, you know. You know. So all that shit just be weird, man. Like, I get it, though. Like, you know, most niggas be like, oh, man, nigga wanna smack me like that, man, on TV like that. But it's like, so I guess y'all gonna be sitting in the back when y'all get, go to comedy Yeah, show. it's like I get the business. I, I, I get the business side of it, and I get the look of it. Like I said, I get why he restrained himself, because I ain't gonna lie. But to not, to I leave the whole night, wife. to leave the whole night and not handle that, that part would have towed my ass. Up. Right. That would have burned oh, me. No, to it's my, after parties. That would have burned me to the core. It's I after would, parties. Any party that I would. I, you know he's going to be in something. He I divorced now. He ain't going to the yeah, grill. Yeah, Chris Rock. He ain't yeah, going to nah, the grill. Hell no. I got to have him. You going to see him out? I got to have him. He, 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 man, he threw off his whole night. Yeah. You up there crying because you got the award. Nobody even care about that now. Nobody even was Where Chris Rock is? That's what I was like. Yeah, Denzel, I'm like, why y'all worried about that nigga for? He did the slapping. <laughs> but y'all worried about the nigga that did the slapping and I just think he got slapped? But, but you know how they try to twist the shit and be like, you know, for a person like him to act out in public, you know, he got some real issues going on. And I'm like, okay, maybe that's true. But I ain't slapping nobody. Everybody got something going on. Niggas ain't just walking around slapping the nigga. I ain't slapping nobody yet being old lady. Nigga said something about my damn hell, nigga. <laughs> Wow, nigga. <laughs> like, nigga. Straight I know up. she ain't got no hair. Nigga, don't be saying that shit out loud. Bro, that's what I'm saying. It's like comedians gonna be strapped on stage now, bro. They gonna have goons in the front row. Yeah. Because this is, I mean, even before that, man. You see the dude pull the shit on Mike Tyson at the, at, 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 man, nigga, Mike probably knocked his ass. He didn't even get out. He didn't move. Dude's like, but it's like, why are you pulling the gun? Not just because you want to meet Mike Tyson, my nigga. Damn. Mike didn't flinch. Man. That was crazy, bro. Yeah, you know, Mike from the <laughs> Mike from the hood, like yeah, he like that kind of shit. Yeah, he I've been watching his, hug, his podcast and stuff, and he's tripping off of him. He like that kind of shit, but you know, he done he seen he done been through all the bullshit. So yeah. he had a point in his life he just cool with. Hey man, you ain't causing no problem. I ain't, whatever gonna happen, gonna happen. Honestly, that's how I feel right now. How the shit gonna go, that's just how it's gonna go. You know what I'm saying? The people around you, if they really around you for you, it ain't really too much you can do that they gonna quit fucking with you. Right. But you know, these industry friends, you know, it all depends on what you got going on, how hot she is, and all that bullshit. So, you know, I'd rather hang with my real my regular friends, my my reg, my real friends, than hang with these industry niggas. Right. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Tell the people again, man, how they can reach you, bro. I mean, you can, you can find me on IG at RhymeDon365, Twitter at RhymeDon365, TikTok, RhymeDonny615. <laughs> and uh, you can catch me on, online at any time, RhymeDon365.com. You know what I'm saying? Once again, ramdon365.com, man. You can find all things ramdon, you know, ramdon related, man. Uh, like I said, it's just kind of the beginning of it. You know what I'm saying? I, I will be looking for some artists to, 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 to bring through in the fold, not just rappers. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about artists. I ain't talking about no nigga that just talk about selling dope 99 different ways. Talk about killing. I'm about some real deal artists. You know what I'm saying? They play the guitar and sing at the same time. Yeah, like yeah. Something just, just different out here, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. So much talent. Let's get out here and have some fun, Let's man. Like it. I said. Most definitely. And there you have it. Yeah. It's another episode of the session, man. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram. You know what I mean? It's your boy Boogie Dollars, at Boogie Dollars on everything, man. It's the session, 615. I'll let you boy. You. You going through a phone, but she gon' laugh for this dick. I got yeah. my shirt off, nigga, and my dick in your bitch. And uh-huh. I'm be yeah. All around the world, whole selling pussy. Yeah. Everywhere I go.